Yo, what is up guys? This is Tito back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the first build of official Pixel Experience ROM on the Redmi Note 3 based on Android Pie. And I just flashed it again. If you have watched my previous video which I'll link in the cards right here and I flashed it earlier but there was a problem in rebooting. Every time you reboot the ROM it will ask you to set the ROM up again and it will get stuck in the setup process and it will full stop but right now I have flashed the Vaulty fix version 2 which fixes that issue so if I reboot now it won't be showing me any kind of setup wizard so the ROM is working fine everything is smooth enough in my opinion and everything runs smooth well let me connect to my Wi-Fi alright as you can see I have connected to my Wi-Fi and if I open like Google as you can see Wi-Fi is running super smooth and if I go into hotspot and as you can see we have the Android Pie quick settings panel over here and everything is running super smooth in my opinion no issues whatsoever everything is smooth enough and in hotspot let me just show you there is 5 GHz band which is a great thing in my opinion that 5 GHz band is there and working fine hotspot is working fine too but regarding the Vaulty I am pretty much like depressed because the Vaulty is not simply working for me the Vaulty should work in sim slot 1 on if you like put your geo sim on the sim slot 1 it should work but I have a nano sim but I forgot where my adapter is which makes the sim card micro so I think I can't get my Vaulty working just because I have a nano sim so I have to put the nano sim in the sim card slot 2 so in the sim card slot 2 Vaulty is simply not working but Geo 4G data is working fine you don't have to worry about it so I think to fix the Vaulty and stuff you should wait for the next build and let me just show you the settings panel now and as you can see we have the colorful settings of Android Pie system about phone and as you can see it shows redmi note 3 here and if i go to android version as you can see it's running on android version 9 over here as you can see android pi so let me just go back august 5th 2018 security patch and this is the 30th august 2018 build by the way and this is the official one this is the first android pi based pixel experience official build so it's pretty much in alpha right now but i guess it will get better from this point of course and over here as you can see we have system update checker and i think it will be receiving ot updates too so that's a great thing in my opinion so we should wait for the next update and let me just go back and well let me show you the gestures we have the swipe up home gesture over here as you can see and it does work well yeah it does work as you can see as you can see over here we have the recent apps panel and as you can see everything is running super smooth no lags no stutters whatsoever which is a great thing regarding it's the first build i mean the first official build you have this android pie recent apps panel you can go to app info or split screen from here or you can clear all of the apps from here and you can swipe up an app like this to remove a single app so that's a great thing in my opinion and what else night mode is working fine as you can see and one great thing here is camera the stock camera over here we have a basic google camera not any mods or stuff as you can see let me just allow and as you can see the camera is working fine as you can see over here and if i switch to front camera as you can see front camera is working fine too let me just take a quick picture and let me take a picture with the rear camera as you can see taking pictures is working fine though the picture quality is pretty basic I did not try the GC Mod 5, I think it should work fine, so you don't have to worry about those things and the RAM management is fine too as you can see. The RAM management is fine even if I have a 3GB RAM variant, the RAM management is fine 
and the app open up speeds are fine too as you can see the torch is working fine though it's a bit buggy i guess no it's not <laughs> yes it is as you can see right now it's not turning on the and it turned on the torch again so it's a little bit buggy i don't know how much the battery life will be i mean how good the battery life will be with this rom as of now as i haven't tested the rom as my daily driver because i can't simply because i can't put in my sim card and use the volt e right now so yeah i'll be testing it i mean later build so yeah you can level battery percentage from here it shows the battery percentage on the status bar right now so yeah let me know if you have any questions or queries regarding this rom and to flash this rom you can just flash the zip file and right then you can flash the volti fix the rom should work fine for you and if you want volti please use your sim card on your sim card slot number 1 So yeah that's it that's all i had to say as of this video thanks so much for watching hit the thumbs up if you like this video subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from carian tech signing off for today and we'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye now